All right, today we are going to be featuring the Charizard EX box. We are going to be giving away the Charizard and all the promos inside of it. Um, and we're going to open up uh, this after we play with the Charizard deck that I've put together. All right, so we're running the Charizard EX deck. I always have my hidden fates because I love DOS birds. And uh, let's do a ranked match. First one of the day, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Charizard decks were basically... What we're doing is we're trying to build up as much junk in front so we can get our Pidgeot, our Bibberl, and our Charizard EX out. And in the process, they're going to take out a few of the small ones, which will just boost the Charizard. So Charizard gets stronger as other cards get taken out. So hopefully they take out a bunch of uh, Charmander and our Pidgeot and Bibberl are spared. We'll see how it goes. We'll take them all again on the first one. And Pidgey oh, off the bat. Buddy Buddy Poffin, great uh Great card from Temporal Forces. Uh, you get two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less, which is all of our starter Pokemon. So this is an ancient deck, which would be I'm trying to think who he has. Probably a Coridon. Ooh, Iron Hands, weird. All right, so first things first, we're gonna buddy buddy coffin. Our Bidoof is in our prize cards, which is not good. So we are going to really have to push hard for our uh, Pidgey to be there. Sack the boss's orders early. So we can get Pidgeot out. Barbum. Handy. There we go. And we will be done. Alright, so the goal is here is to get Pidgeot out. Pidgeot will then grab a Rare Candy or a Charizard DX. Uh, we're going to use the Iono afterwards, so we're going to re scoop six more cards up. Hopefully, we'll get either the Charizard DX or the Rare Candy. And then Pidgeot can grab the other. And then we have our deck built. And then we're just going to push for another Pidgeot because Bidoof is not going to be on the playing field. Um, unfortunately, he's in our prize card, so we're going to have to take something first. There's our Charizard. All right. So first things first, let's rare candy, get the Pidgeot out, and we'll go there. We're gonna put Pidgeot in our active, because we can retreat for nothing. So if we can just come back anytime. And he's out. All right, let's get into another one here. Have a little better one. Ichito.
I'd like to get a decent match here that we uh, go a little further. Still no basic energies or basic Pokemon. All right. Both took a mulligan. He took a very similar mulligan. He has a Dedun Sparse and an Artisan. Not sure what he's going to be running, but we'll figure out soon. All right. So we get a card. And what would we do? We'll probably use Buddy Buddy Poffin, get two Charmander in here, Arvin Ultra Ball. Get a Pidgey with the rare candy. Again, our Bidoof is in our pile there. Is just poffins in there. I should have put the Pidgey up. No, you can't do that. It's benched. I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna evolve all his uh, dead end spice and take a tink into a tink. Oh. Remember, I'm dead end spice. That is a wild mechanic. You get all the cards and then you run away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at that one. I haven't really played that card or seen that card played. But that is a wild mechanic. With this, I gotta get damage out, I gotta get the Charizard first. Then I retreat the Pidgey. Put the Charizard in. I think I'll get the Pidgeot. Pidgeot will grab the Charizard. Treat. That's what I'll do. I won't need the rare candy. Correct. just start attacking and trying to clean this up. 
because it was going to take quite a bit. A basic Pokemon early, to be honest, I don't. Because I don't want him to be able to boss his orders out into something he can take out easy. Because I feel like this is going to be a very technical deck he's running that's going to be able to do that. <clears throat> that looks nice though. That'll reset him to six, and he doesn't have. Assume you can switch him out. Yeah, the Dunsparce. Yeah, he'll run away. Put the Luxury in eventually, I would assume. Oh, I bet he has a lot of Luxury. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Best card I have right now, though, is I own no. I'm gonna be grabbing Iono's every turn. Be grabbing I was at return. That's some wild shit. Let me get that out here, I guess. Oof. Oh, we gotta use it. Arvin's gonna Ultra Ball. Let's get a rare candy here, real quick. Let's do this. Let's go. Professor's Research. We'll use Professor's Research here, probably. Do that. Do that.
This is getting close. This is getting very close. I'm gonna juice up another Charizard here, but he only needs to take out two more. And take out Big Jet again. God. This is frustrating. This guy's got a troll deck. I'm just not going to do anything. I'm just going to attack with Charizard. See if you can take him out. I'm going to take out that guy. Probably has multiple Luxray in his hand, though. Probably has a lot of reversal energy, so he's used two of those. Jesus. <laughs> ah, I'm dead. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright. This is a deck. Wow. I just got obliterated. All right. Try another one here. Let's see if we can get a better one.
Get a mulligan, so we get one. Hopefully we get another Pokemon we can throw over here. Bidoof. Love Bidoof. He is Bidoof. I mean, who doesn't like Bidoof, right? turn get those going so Arvin will get the ultra ball so we should have a Charizard EX Google that this should be a good quick game depending on what he's doing all right so Fluttermane Zoric deck all right so Looks like it's a Zorark deck. We're going to use the Bibril. We're going to go with Arvin. Get the rare candy and the Defiance. And upgrade our Charmander to a Charizard. Just used two. We don't need to be overzealous here because we are going to probably have to use more. Super Rod, those two, just to get us a little bit more for Bibberl here. Get another one on the bench. Um, we should be pushing pretty good here. Put that on him. Get an attack in and continue on. I can't remember what Zorak Beastar does. This card kind of feels like three damage coming out of this Pokemon. The Gengar is the Gengar and Bidoof are gonna be their cycling cards. Take him out. We're looking good. We got Vibril out. If you get Vibril out, you're looking real good because it really counter counters the Pidgeot and takes the attention away from Pidgeot. If you can get Vibril out, because then you have one beach that's always kind of moving in the right direction. This guy's just drawing kind of dead here too, so it's not going to be a situation where. Obviously, I think we're going to win this, but we'll see if he concedes or if he. Let's just play it through. Looks like he's playing it through. Good man. A radiant Charizard will get here. Don't really need anything. We're just going to continue attacking. And at this point, I can see him conceding because we got this one in the bag, unless he has some sort of miraculous. I mean, he'd have to have a heck of a comeback at this point. I mean, you'd have to have. 
I don't know what you would have to have, but you'd have to have something that's crazy good. Should probably grab the boss's orders just in case he had something crazy good. He's gonna get to get his liberals pretty gosh darn good. And get the machine running, that's for sure. So now you gotta take out the Zorak. I mean, the dude's not giving up, so kudos to him on that. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just do this. I want to switch him out. No, I want him to take two. He hasn't taken any yet. Alright, so during your turn, discard your hand and draw seven cards. This attack does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, so he's going to do a ton of damage. But it's too, I think it's too little too late. I mean, it, I got a lot of stuff out here right now, and I can pull a lot more out. To, I mean, this should be easy layup. I'm probably just being too cautious with this, but uh, we'll bring this back out, I guess. What the heck? Grab the boss's orders just to make sure I can control him. And let's just do it the right way. BS happen here where you end up having the wrong thing happen. No comebacks allowed. That should do it. I don't see how there's any way he wins this. Maybe there's a way. I don't see it. We can use a Radiant Charizard. Throw some energy on him. We can just... There's a lot of things we can do. We only need one. We can just kill every single one of his stuff. Never be too cautious on those guys. Never be too cautious. I know I got it in the bag, but if you end up not drawing cards or something like that, you can put yourself in a really bad situation. 
if he can nuke my guy here and... See? Look at this. You never know. He's coming back. It's always closer. It's always closer than it should be. Do 300 damage. Just killing. End the game. But that was a lot closer than it always is. I mean, you always think that, hey, you got it under control. And yeah, I had it under control. But you never know. I didn't have to do too much technical stuff on that. I just kind of basically just nuked with uh, Charizard. And that's why we uh, love Charizard decks, because it just absolutely nukes. All right. So thank you guys for watching and everything. We're going to get into the box. And uh, Charizard's the giveaway today. All right, so getting into it, we got the Charizard EX box. Like I said, Charizard's the giveaway. We're going to go with the people who commented on the last one are going to be uh, eligible for it. So we'll find out uh, who those are very shortly. Two Obsidian Flames, two Paldea, two Scarlet and Violet. All right, so we got three people who did the uh, right thing from last time. Only had a few comments on the last one. For some reason, that one didn't get out as much, but uh, we'll see what goes on here. Scarlet and Violet, Paldea Evolved, and Obsidian Flames. But we'll roll them up. Charizard is the giveaway. And uh, let's get into it. So first things first, we have JBL. So JBL, you get Scarlet and Violet. Be nice to... Oh, a really nice card. Looks like we have a fair minimum Looks like we had a Terra card. Spite Ops EX. All right. So on the board. All right, our next one up here, we have Paldea Evolved. And this is going to be Jason VT. I did that one out of order. And Paldea, Reversal Energy is great. Therapeutic Energy is great. Choice Belt is great. God, that was a nice little run there. Mimikyu is great. And Obama Snow. So nothing as far as hits, but as far as building decks, that was a fantastic. And the last one is Dolan. You get Obsidian Flame, so let's hopefully, uh, let's pull another Charizard here. We haven't pulled one in a long while. Pull another one. The Fairy, Capsa Kid, Team Star Grunts, Altaria, Mawile, Lechonk, Patrol Cap, and Gita. Alright, going back the other way again. We got Obsidian Flames one more time. Alright, continuing on here. Going to reverse order. Got one more time with Obsidian Flames. Dolan, Lechonk, Drampa, and Agita again. And this this girl shows up all the time. Alright. Then we have Jason VT with Paldea. All right, Jason BT, you are up. Ooh, that's either special illustration rare or that is going to be a Terra card. Either way, I think that's going to put you in the lead. And it's a Fortress EX, so it does put you in the lead, but not by much. Fortress is not the be-all, end-all. In fact, I think that's a $2 card to a $1 card.
All right. So the battle is between a bunch of uh, minuscule cards. Let's see if uh, we can close it out here, JVL. Ooh, is that something? Please be something. Let's have a clear winner as opposed to one and two dollar cards. Electric generator, great card. Breeding pneumonia and an Oinkalone EX. Oh. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy me actually playing the game so you can kind of see how the game kind of correlates to the cards that we pull. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching.